Today we're going to be talking about how to edit pictures in Krita. So first thing you do is import the picture you're going to use. We're going to be using um, a picture of Audrey Smith. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Today, we to transform to you adjust it if the canvas is a little bit bigger than what you want, like here. You can just go to um, image, then add precise canvas, play with the numbers a bit till you get what you're looking for. Then the difference between resize canvas and scale image in your size is this. With resize canvas, you just cut off the extra parts of the canvas. But with scale image new size, everything compresses like the image, the canvas, whatever numbers you're changing affects both of them. Okay, next thing you want to do is to edit the picture properly. So you might want to just go to filter and with the different options, you can just try different things out. Um, adjust the shadows, adjust different tones. But what I recommend you do is to create a filter mask. This would um, allow you to edit the picture non-destructively because you can apply all the filters on the mask and it won't affect the picture if you're not satisfied with it you could just delete the mask and everything goes back to normal and it still gives the same effect as when you're editing directly on the picture there are a lot of like a whole lot of effects you can try it's just knowing what you want with the picture which angle you want to take it but it's pretty fun trying out different things as you can see here if you're having a problem with the color adjustment curve, maybe you made a lot of points and you don't know how to remove them. It can be frustrating, I've been there. You just need to drag the points down to the edge and they disappear. Now, if you want to change a particular part of the picture, could be an article of clothing or anything, here's what you should do. Um, create a new layer set it to color then pick a brush and fill in the color over the particular part of the picture you want to change then click on filter and using the color balance you can just pick whatever color you like and yeah it's that easy This is why you should not just use a normal layer. Okay, let's do something here. Using the same color I used when the layer was set to color, this is the result. Do you see how unnatural it looks? How um, how very very forced it looks? Yes. Make sure you like and subscribe and check out my other videos for further Peter tips.